work on we're going to work on uh, a common defense. It's called a hip block and hop around. We're going to hop around action and also the hip block, the hand block actually on the hip. And it's a fairly common defense you see a lot in judo and as well as sambo. We tend to do more hip cuts and hip blocks. You see that a lot today. That's what we do. And we'll talk about that momentarily. But let me show you the basic move here. So if Derek comes in to a right sided, let's say, uh, Start with a hip throw, soyanagi. Okay, let's do one arm shoulder throw. And let's do it right there, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is, as, as he's coming in, I'm going to hit him palm down, not palm up, because that'll hurt my wrist, okay? Hit him with the heel of your hand, give him a shot right on the hip as he's coming in. And that kind of stops the forward action. And as you do that, hop around. Now, as soon as you hop around, you better be ready to pull that trigger and do a counter move. Because if I just stand here, he's going to come right in again, and he's going to bury me. So don't just think you're getting off the hook by hopping around. That's the worst thing you could do. So here's the basic block and avoidance, okay? So as he's coming in, block and hop around. See, like this. And now I'm away from him. I've created space, and I'm avoiding the technique. That's a very basic move. Some people, you see older guys, you know, like in the real old Kodakon, they would hop around big, they'd come in, and they just really hop way, hop around. And it's great for them if they can do that, you know? I'm too big of a fat boy to do that. I can't jump around like that anymore. But, so, but if you can do that, great. But that's the idea of avoiding a technique, okay? Now, my preference, and you see this a lot, and we do this a lot at Welcome Man, is when he comes in with that, I'll do a hip block and cut away, and I'll nullify his throw there, and tear away, and then I literally stop his momentum forward, and that really just stops the attack. Okay, I'm not avoiding it, I'm just totally killing it, okay? So when I do the hip block and cut away, and cut like that, I can stop there. I can still come back and attack, but I've really stopped him in his tracks. He still has momentum unless I counter. So it's very, this takes a lot of skill and a lot of timing to do a hip block and a hop around. So we'll do that. So let's look at the hip block again. As he comes in, bam, block, there's the hip block right there. Okay, this hand, or it's good hand block actually, right on the hip. And as he, I'm doing this, I'm going to hop around kind of at an angle here. Later on when we do the counter throw, which we should do immediately, okay, I want to be in a position where I can counter. I don't want to just be there and loose because he will come in and drill me, okay? So let's do that first, get that skill down with the hand block and hop around. Get around it. All I might add, when he's coming in from this angle, don't let go with his hand. Here's your hand on a lapel, whatever you got up here. As soon as you do the block, Keep this because you may you may need this for later to grab and attack him. So as you block here and hop around, now I can grab here. I can come and dive in with a throw or something. So you better be ready for that. Okay. So as soon as you hit block and hop around, have in mind a good attack you're going to counter attack with. We're going to show you a few here momentarily. Okay. Let's do that now. Just do the hand block and hop around. Put your hand on their hip. Think, think about letting him do a lot of that work for you with that hop around. And I think of it more as a, as a float. I float around instead of hop around. So blast in on me. And I just let him kind of Appreciate float me around. Like that. And I get cleared around like, like Steve was showing you. And it creates that space and that angle. But instead of him coming in, let me go and trying to step around it or coming in and think of, I've got a hop around like that. It's a hop around, but think of it kind of as a float and getting your hand on the hip and you kind of lock it in here. And when he keeps turning, he just kind of lifts you around there and see what that does for you. Catch him on the way in not when his hip gets all the way there. If his hip's all the way there, he's not going to float you around. You see it coming in, you brace it, and then you just kind of let your feet come up, and he will push you around by the, the centrifugal sure. force that he's making. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, a hand block against the hips, and a hip block type hop around. Now we're going to hit with a Tanyo Toshi, a valley drop. This is a, a classic counter to any forward throw. And it's quite quite useful against the Soyanagi or Koshi Garuma. 
Mike's going to come in on a cushy room, a hip wheel on Derek, and as he does, Derek's just going to hop around, but he's not going to hop around real far. He's going to hop around kind of about a 90 degree angle. Now, turn around here so the camera can see. When he's hopped around here, he's been pushing here, he's going to immediately tight waist. Bam, he's going to steal that hip. Now, turn around this way. This head is against the shoulder. And he's going to, when he does that, turn, turn him toward your back here. Okay, there you go. And when he shoots his leg, he's going to drop his levels. Bam. Really classic counter. Sorry. And again, you're blocking the hip, you're hopping around, and you're pulling the trigger on a really, really clean count. You just clock the guy. You threw him cleanly onto his back or backside, and you're in perfect position to follow through the ground fight. There you go. Okay, come on out here a bit. Now, let's parse that up real quickly. When Mike does come in around the head or anything, he hops around. There, here's a hand block here, okay? This tight waist is here, but this is where people get caught up to. His head also directs where he goes. But now watch, before he does that, he's going to bend his knees and shoot. You've got to lower your levels with your legs. Don't try to bend them over and do this. You've got to lower your levels with your legs. So watch him again. Hops around and he shoots. See how he lowered his level? That's really important to lower your level with your legs. Don't just try to bend and try to sweep. You're not in a position to do anything. tight ways when you reach your foot out you just try and sit down and turn and look through your opponent so as long as you do that you, you pretty much land pretty well so we catch the tight waist bend that that knee and immediately catch and turn yeah put chest to chest that's a good point I feel to say that because you want to make sure the referee knows you through him okay you do one more time then we'll, then we'll let you pr practice this we'll, we'll practice much. I mean, it's a classic way to hit Tani Otoshi, Valley Drop. That's a classic example of it. And that's a good way to learn Tani Otoshi. You've never learned it before. Okay, let's practice that and then we'll do on some other stuff. All right.